Everybody, I just feel like I am in Christian Dior's studio. I just walked up here. Robert is so modest, but we are here in his studio and we are going to talk about his dolls in length, but tonight we are just gonna focus on one. She's a very rare kissy doll. As soon as I saw her, I said, is that a kissy doll? And she is a special doll and she is in a very special party dress. And so we're gonna speak with Robert and find out all about it. Hi, Robert. Hey. Thank you for inviting us to your party. We're having the best time. Oh, good, 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 good. And thank you for like being able to escape from the party for a minute. <laughs> yes. That's good too. So, uh, so I just got my new kissy today. You got her today? Today, as a matter of fact. Oh my goodness. She is darling. Okay, let's pull her out. Pull her out. And, let's, and let's chat about why she is so special. First of all, I love her outfit. Yeah, now that this outfit is a very rare outfit, but as you can tell, it's got the kissy tag. <gasps> oh, so, look at that! So, and and this looks very ideal. I mean, if you know the uh, if you know the work that they were doing in the early '60s, that's a very ideal looking dress. Patty Playpal would have had something similar and all that, but um, kissy usually came in more of a, a gingham thing with ruffles, and this one with the long hair, which is kind of very rare, that long hair. It's usually uh, uh, shorter. It's short. It's Look usually at that short. cute hairstyle. And she's in great shape. Yeah, and these are original shoes. Look at that, so cute. Socks. So this, this little girl's in great shape. And what do you love about Kissy? Um, I, I like the history. The sculptor who did this is, oh, I'm going to, Neil East, Easton, I believe I, that's how you say his name. And he did Patty Playbell. He did a lot of dolls for Ideal. He did dolls for other companies too. But some of the, the classic dolls from that time are from Neil. And uh, they, they're so expressive and they're so well proportioned and they're just, they're great dolls. Um, I think this was really, Barbie had really kind of taken over the whole scene for that, mm -hmm. that whole time, but um, there were some amazing dolls being done by Ideal at the time. There were. This is one. So let me show you her, her magic feature. Oh, which, let's look at her magic features. Which is, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, kiss for us, kissy. Here she goes. Aww. You, sque you, you squeeze her arms together. And she puckers. Isn't that cute? It makes a little kissing sound. <laughs> oh, now we all have to have a kissy. Yeah, you gotta have a kissy. <laughs> no, don't, because I'm still looking. <laughs> <laughs> You're still looking for them. No, I have more kissies than I would you know, like to say. Oh, anyway. and look at her little chubby legs. She oh, yeah, she's so got sweet. the cutest little. Oh, she looks like she's been fed buttermilk. Yes. She's just wonderful. And these sweet little hands and oh, how little great. chubby arms oh isn't Very that light. wonderful yeah this is a great example of this doll she is a great example and i think a lot of the people that are tuning in probably wanted this doll for christmas or got this doll for christmas it's a very nostalgic doll yeah so she's got a new home she's got a new <laughs> home this is wonderful say hi kissy kiss say hi kissy <laughs> kiss Kiss everybody. Oh, look at her go. Oh, she's so sweet and waving. So for those that are just tuning in, this is such an amazing thing, you guys. We just escaped Robert's party. Not that it, and it's an amazing party, by the way. But he said, do you want to go upstairs and get a peek of my studio? And I said, yeah, look at how amazing this is. So we are going to be spending some time in here tomorrow. And we are going to be chatting dolls. The first thing I saw, and Bradley Justice is tuning in right now are all these hey, Barbies. <laughs> all these Barbies. We're gonna chat about why Robert loves Barbies. And look at this eclectic collection. Oh yeah, it's very eclectic. It is amazing. <laughs> the first one I noticed is the Shelley Thornton doll. Now, you guys remember in the last convention, we visited Shelly Thornton and we had a class on textiles and color combination. But you have a little bit of everything, which I totally love. I love, yeah, I love pretty, I love, you know, so many different things. 
What are you on the hunt for right now? Um, I'm doing this weird thing with this one right here. This is Polly from Ma Madame Alexander. She's cute. She was only done in 1965. And she's, yeah, she is cute. And she's kind of a generic looking doll, but I believe she was sculpted by Bernard Litford. And mm. it, it had to be one of the last dolls he sculpted. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, she has a very sweet face. He sculpted the major dolls like Patsy and Shirley Temple and all this kind of stuff through the 30s on. And I think this is probably the last one he did. But, She's but he doesn't get credit for this. But it looks like his sculpt to me. So. Mm. Yeah, oh, I love her. Sweet. And they have this really weird sort of. It was 1965, so the dresses are. are um, they reflect that period. So they're a little bit. Leftover 50s, but not quite, you know, mm -hmm. whatever the next thing was, you know. So, um, full skirts and all that. So. Oh, she's wonderful. Yeah, she's a, this is a pretty example. Yes, that is Roseville Pottery for for uh, Wendy that asked, <clears throat> I think. Yes, it is. Yes. yes. So, you like pottery. And who does the decorating? Your house is gorgeous. Thank you. We, we do. We just, you know. Uh, do you agree on everything? No. Harris and I do not agree on everything, but, and, but we both like, we like having art around, mm -hmm. and that's what we do. I, yeah, your yeah. art is wonderful. Thank you. And mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's art that, that, you know, like I, I collect illustration art, but, you know, like romance novel covers and Betsy, you know, and, you know, original Betsy McCall work. So it's not expensive stuff necessarily, but I love it. Mm -hmm. and it means something to me. So that's, I think that's why you collect art. Isn't that just wonderful to hear? We love it because it means something to us. And that's the same thing with our dolls. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Oh, and wonderful. Nobody has to approve of it. Nobody. You just, you know, you buy what you like. Thank you. Sometimes we just need that permission. You have my permission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, you have Robert's permission to collect uh, and love what you love. And love what you love. That's exactly right. Love exactly. Love. Permission to play. Exactly. That's, that's really good. Who, said that? Who came up with that? I Permission think I think that's your slogan. No, ours is believe in the power of play. Oh, believe in the power to play. But okay, well, permission to play. Down. He's gonna like he's this. gonna trademark like that one yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we hope you guys enjoyed this little peek. We're gonna be back tomorrow with so much more fun stuff. Share if you love the video live at Robert Tonner's studio. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.